Florida Raw Pass. We're back here for another Burlington Parks and Recreation COVID-19 update. Once again, I'm here at Burlington Parks and Recreation Director Brendan Egan. Brendan, how are you doing today? Doing great, Robert. Thanks for having me again this week. So, Brendan, first off, let's talk about any new information about the Burlington Garden Contest. Sure. Uh, we had uh, opened up um, a garden contest we're, that we're doing in conjunction with the Burlington Garden Club. They, uh, you had to register your garden by July 31st. Um, finalists were picked and we'll go out um, in the next couple weeks to judge the finalists um, and take a look at their, at their gardens and um, we'll come up with some winners um, in, in our different categories like uh, best uh, front porch garden, um, planter, planter uh, pots or potted garden, planter box, and then vegetable garden, so are uh, just a couple. And uh, you know, we've really seen some really nice gardens, some impressive gardens. And I hope it's not just because people were home during you know the, our uh, pandemic that we're going through um, and decided to garden, but that's great. But I'm hoping that it's something that people do all the time. And if they did pick it up this year, they stay with it um, you know, in the coming years. It's, I find gardening, although I'm not a master gardener or, you know, an expert of any kind, I do find it uh, therapeutic. And Brendan, are there any updates on the recreational sports? I know we're in August and usually they end around the end of August. So we'll talk a little about that and how they've been doing. Yeah, uh, the state did release um, some minor updates to the um, guidelines that were put out uh, back at the beginning of July. So on the 24th, one of the big things is they moved um, soccer from a high risk sport, um, what they considered high risk because of the chance for contact between um, players, offense and defense. Um, they moved it to a moderate risk. So, um, you know, they were able to, um, you know, some soccer programs I know in communities um, across the state did start up. Um, we, you know, Burlington Youth Soccer was not going to, you know, play this summer. So, um, and, and they've kept to that. Um, we have youth baseball and softball and youth lacrosse going on. Um, and they are, they are out there, but their seasons are, are coming, um, you know, up to an end. It was a short season. Um, get the get the uh, kids out there playing and, and participating again. And uh, it's gone pretty well. I mean, you know, we have uh, have to do reminders um, about social distancing um, when they're not um, the baseball players, when they're not up to bat or out in the field, they need to social distance on the on the benches, but also um, the fans really need to, you know, remember that. And, and I know, um, you know, it's, people are anxious to get back out and stuff. And, and it's, we've had some good weather, warm, but good weather. Uh, but just, you know, keep those things in mind when you're out there. Um, so we don't have to shut down a season um, too early. It's already an abbreviated season. We don't want to uh, make it any more abbreviated than it, than it already is. So um, the Board of Health has been watching um, and has had conversations with us and with um, some of the youth sports, just reminders. So uh, if anything, the reminder out there for for parents and, and players. And are there any ideas about the fall programs happening when they are going to start and stuff like that? We actually have uh, a meeting with our with the uh, board of health to discuss, um, you know, um, how, how you know some of the guidelines and how they fit for fall programs. Um, right now, we're working off of off of um, the guidelines that were released in um, July on um, early education and uh, camps. And um, there is a whole section on um, recreation, parks and recreation programs and camps. So, um, you know, we're working off of those guidelines. We do have some in-person programs going on now for adult fitness. And we're hoping that we can, we can maintain those programs going into the fall. Um, you know, it's important for us to give people an outlet, you know, and do it safely. And, and that's our big, um, you know, push is to offer opportunities, recreational opportunities for people to do um, in their uh, leisure time, spare time, free time, however you want to say it. But, 
you know, to, to make sure we're offering them um, safely and that they're enjoyable. We don't want to put at risk populations, you know, um, together and, and um, in person, we encourage them to do our virtual programs. So um, we're hoping for a, for a pretty full slate of fall programs. And um, we'll release that information when, when we have it all sorted out um, through our social media outlets. So Brennan, talk a little about uh, the concerts and movies and how they're going. They're, they're going well. Um, we had, um, we, we had some uh, weather issues on Tuesday nights, our, our uh, family concerts. Um, our children's shows on Mondays have gone well, um, and then the movies have gone well. Um, it really gives people an opportunity to come out and just enjoy a night out on the common, being you know, uh, socially distant, wearing a mask to and from the common. When you get to your spot on the common, you can remove that mask. Um, as long as you're socially distant from uh, people not in your family. And uh, they've, they've been going well, you know, a uh, little lower attendance than we're used to, but we understand. And Brendan, lastly, to end our conversation, what do you hope to see as we enter towards the fall? Oh, boy. Uh, just people continuing to uh, respect the guidance that, that the state puts out, that the governor puts out. Um, and, uh, you know, people enjoying themselves still, uh, being social, you know, socially responsible or, you know, socially distant. Um, and uh, hopefully closer to some kind of uh, vaccine. That would be great. Um, you know, I think it's, I think, you know, from everything I've read, they're getting close, but uh, we're in that third stage of the trials and hopefully it, it leads us somewhere um, positive because I think people are ready to, you know, kind of return to uh, typical operations. And, um, you know, that, that's what I hope for for the fall. Well, Brendan, I want to thank you for coming on for another Burlington Parks and Recreation COVID-19 update. Thanks for having me, Robert. Mm-hmm.